So today we're doing two things. Number one is we're doing Dimension Predator. As you can see on the screen, we are using a water team, which I don't think we've ever used before, using Ryan. I don't know if you guys know. Ryan has an attack. Oh, you do know. He's got attack power buff and a defense pick. You knew that? Okay, okay, okay. And then we're also using Xiao Lin, which actually she per see, she performed better after her buff. She performed better than the uh, than the Ryan did even, which is just shocking. Number two is we are answering your... It's not really Q&A. It's more so just you guys wrote comments in the comment section, so I'm going to be responding. I have a lot of them lined up. I don't think we're going to be able to get to anywhere near as many as I want to, but let's get it started. The first one from Akalia, I believe that's how you say The pick band face made me laugh solid editing so this is the reason for the pick but well there's a couple reasons for the pick band face one of them is i noticed because we can actually see the data on the back end youtubers can see the data so i noticed a lot of people are just skipping through the pick band face completely so i'm like you know what this solves a, a few different issues together is if i just make it super fast and then there we go so i was also trying to go anonymous with my username so that's another reason so it's those two reasons is why i decided that uh for the rta ones recently we've been just doing the pick band phase like that but it has been solving the problem of people skipping through the pick band phase and also uh i can be anonymous even though i just changed my name to a different language so i could just be anonymous regardless because you guys are not going to pay attention to what's what uh next one swc should not affect patch release this was about the community post being a top player means also adjusting to the meta and etc whether it benefits see this is theoretically absolutely correct however this does not really apply to summoners war as much as it would apply to something like overwatch or hearthstone or something like that where everyone has access to the same units um this is more like in Summoner's War, Comp to us has a tendency sometimes to, by the way, it's Firas. Uh, if he's a streamer, if you guys don't know, you should check him out. Um, what, was I, what was I saying? Oh, with Summoner's War, sometimes Comp to us will roll out monster balances without actually testing it as much as they could have. That's why you see these emergency patches where they have to nerf some things like the Twins, like Kaki, uh, like Dominic. So some things they make way too strong. So for example, if they made something like the Light Mage and the Dark uh, Bison or Dark Slayer super, super, super strong and didn't realize how strong they made it and did a balance patch in the middle of SWC, then guess who would win? The one person in SWC who's got a Light Mage and Dark Slayer because most people don't have, like even the whales don't have like the brand new LD5s because they could just whale and whale and whale and spend $10,000, $20,000. That doesn't guarantee them a new LD. They may get the third army mail or something like that. Actually, I think I'm referencing a specific person, which I was not necessarily intending to, but it doesn't, you know, you could just get the same a dupe of the same thing over and over and over again, even though you want some of the new units. So um, it could just, if they really buff, un, like unintentionally buff some of the uh, rare units, super OP, that will, I mean, in theory, it shouldn't. Like for, for Hearthstone, everyone has access to the same cards. Uh, for Overwatch, everyone has access to the same units. Uh, or games like that, like it doesn't work in Summoner's War where some people just have access to. And, and it, even if they are counterable, if the other people don't, if they just got buffed and then like a couple days later, there's a part of the tournament that you have to play in, they may just not have the experience against that specific unit to know how to counter it effectively. So... In theory, that is correct for gaming tournaments in general, but for Summoner's War, where it's not quite equal, that people just don't have access to the same units, that's not quite, uh, that doesn't quite work the same way. For collaborative events, roughly how many scrolls? I'm doing this so slow. I really got to speed this up. For collaborative events, roughly how many scrolls would be good? As many as you can. You don't have to go spending or whatever. Just save until the collab comes out. Um, when we come to us, known to keep promises. They have been keeping promises on the balance patches coming out sooner rather than too long in between them because they were coming out um, with a long time in between them, but now they've been coming out roughly every two months now. Uh, so they actually have been keeping uh, their word on that. That's a, still a two month, well, month and a half, but still gap or am I tripping right now? No, it is a month and a half gap, but they've never done one. I don't think they've ever done one as as quickly as a month and a half in between. So yeah, it is, it is slightly less than a two month gap, but it is still... It is still only uh, only about a month and a half. That was from the community post. When Envy goes 20 straight turns and Antares passive doesn't kick in yet, when you face him on defense, he goes every freaking turn. Can anyone explain to me how the algorithm in these percentages work again? It's just random. It's just sometimes you'll get absolutely screwed, and sometimes, and 
I, you always notice it more when it's the times when you don't need it. It's like, your monsters will violent proc, like, four times in a row in, like, the, like when the match is already won. When it's, like, 4v1 on your side. And you're like, okay, I actually won this one. Your enemies will proc four times in a row. It's like, I didn't need, I didn't need you to get so many turns now. Why does this not happen in RTA when I'm, like, AoE stunned and trying to make a comeback from that? It's like, nope. It's just... Also, there's a psychological thing where you notice more. I don't want to get into all the psychology behind it, but like you actually do notice more when things are not in your favor. So, we could have a whole video about psychology. Wasn't the fault of not bringing... T oh, yeah, I misplayed and what... Eh, it was kind of a misplay, yeah. It wasn't the fault of not bringing Tiana. You didn't go over the kill shot to dismount the rider for some reason. This was in the thing with the... Uh, where I was complaining, the beast rod had gotten additional. It was a 22% chance, which means you know it was a 95% chance she was going to violent proc. I should have just dismounted anyway. I was trying to, like, decrease the HP of the panda. is what, So he didn't reckless is what I was trying to do. Uh, I see some people enjoyed selection part edit. This is the thing we were actually referencing at the beginning. But I really disliked it. Listening to the same music over and over and over again. Getting little to no in needed info is no fun. I prefer either Bagel speaking in the meanwhile or as usual or just straight up skipping that part. See, it's kind of the thing is like people were skipping the part. And I was like, I still talk through the whole thing. <laughs> like the whole selection thing. It's just I edit all that out. So like all the talking is basically pointless uh, of doing that anyway. Plus a lot of times it's just me complaining is the talking. Love this short, would really like to see more of this kind of video. Oh, the 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 vertical first off, it's kinda challenging to do a, a vertical format of a landscape orientation game. Like a vertical format of a horizontal uh game. Also, for YouTube shorts, one of the real reasons eh, there's a couple of reasons you don't see that many gaming content creators doing YouTube shorts, is there you don't actually get paid for those. Like we don't we just do them if we're doing them, it's just for like Maybe people will like it, maybe people will discover the channel, but you don't actually get paid for shorts. Some people, uh, there's a special shorts incentive fund thing, but it really only applies to like the huge channels and it's really insignificant basically for the most part. So there's no, cause there's no ads. We make money through ad revenue. So, and there's no ads on shorts. So, uh, I want to say both, but I'm going to say, I don't remember what this is about. Oh, this is the balance patch. I want to say both, but I want to say neither. No, it won't be neither. It'll be there. There'll be there'll be balance patches before SWC starts, but we're just trying to figure out which ones. Uh, I love you and your content, but you're completely overlooked the Cha Cha and her game changing SD. So this is from the tier list, the LD, uh, the LD three tier list. Uh, I didn't overlook. I actually like uh, I like Cha Cha. I was also going by some of you guys' opinion in the comments for the community post. Is that's why I probably didn't put her to because like. Maybe people didn't mention her or mention her very little and nobody really agreed with him. So that's one of the reasons that uh, that I did that. Also, she can get resisted, which is another which is another issue. First pick bulldozer challenge that completely unless I make a weird uh, that completely gives away the comp, though. I could try it. But I don't think it's going to go well. This got uploaded a lot. Could be a good video to do. What are the best for first pick units for which strategy? I did. Uh, I did do a video, uh, uh, a guide to first pick. So I did actually do a video like that. Uh, check it out. First pick Razak challenge. Razak is the Dark Garuda. He's likely getting his second awakening, but I don't know if that's going to make him first pick material. This is a neat challenge video, although a few times you had me on edge because you went for skill 3 first on Madeline instead of skill 2. So the reason for this, someone actually commented after this, but the reason for me doing that was because... Uh, there was a light sniper on the enemy team. I didn't want him. I mean, she still does uh, decrease cooldowns, which is good for skill three. But I didn't want to buff the attack power and the defense of everyone, uh, giving that light sniper turns to cut in. So, uh, I have the light blacksmith. I've tried to use her in, insane, in some PvE teams. Her AI always seems to prioritize skill three. So getting her fast to act as a team buffer on turn one sadly rarely works. It's just any monsters in PvE or any monsters in auto uh in the game just don't work as you want it to ever and they're even if they do it's unreliable first pick my celine all the time normally with re i don't have a fully skilled celine that's why i think that's the situation of, like why i never used her like i i really use her very rarely because she's not skilled up um got light and dark blacksmith been wondering how viable they are fun i guess is showing of light light is usually good for guild wars and guild siege uh, the Dark One is really good for, like, the Rift Beast. The Dark One is crazy good in the Rift Beasts. Uh, challenge first, Maddie picks Oliver, Han, and Light, Monkey King, Gray. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Walkers goes to RJ. Walkers is not that bad. 
He really is not that bad. He's got a speed lead. He may get... He's likely going to get second Awaken too. Um, but yeah, I just... I abuse Han and uh, Kitian Dasheng way too much. I think we have time... Wow, we have time for like one more. I wanted to go through so many more... Uh, so many more questions though. Want to see you more... Do more RTA content? Thank you. Uh, this... I want to... I want to do more content of RTA. I want to do more of everything. But I just go by the numbers. So if a lot of you guys watch things, I will do more of it. If a lot of you guys don't watch things and it takes a long time to produce them then i will i then i can't do uh, so much of it if they're if they're getting bad views um actually that rta video got not good views so sadly i honestly truly have rt videos i'm glad you like them uh they don't get that many they don't get as many views as the other things now if you read this why is metal Madeline not going first for the but I said we're gonna do one more. We're still doing more. Um, why is Madeline not going first for the buff? She was supposed to be speed tuned to go in between her and the Dark Ninja, but I think the I, I think the speed tuning didn't work or whatever. Uh, it was supposed to be Dark Ninja goes and then she goes after like in between his skill three and skill two. That was the that was the intent. Okay, last really last one. Oh, the, this is uh, already we already answered that one. Uh, let's do good, good last one. Good last one. Next to a must hellhound. I hope so. There, that is likely going to be a sec another second awakened unit. So, I should probably just do a video explaining all of this stuff instead of saying like, Oh, this is likely going to be a second awakened. This is likely going to be a second awakened. I'll get you guys up to date in the know with all of this stuff so we can have a conversation about it. Anyway, that's it for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will see you. She did the, 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 the water kung fu girl did pretty decent, didn't she? I will see you as always in the next one.